waiting really on on Shaq. He obviously felt something in the game and came off quite early against Arsenal. Johnny is still hasn't trained with us. He's getting better. We're not sure whether he'll be fit for the two games for Ireland. Um, you know, I'm still hoping that he comes in today and he'll be fit for for the game on um, on Sunday. Uh, away grounds usually you're not given too much of a warm welcome irrespective of where he has but uh, maybe going back to your, an old club then uh, home fans reserve the right to give you a little bit of stick um. the side have got um, a warm reception last year and, and whether whether he gets a warm reception or not this year I'm, I'm, I'm not sure Fletcher should get a great reception because he's been absolutely fantastic at his football club he's a wonderful wonderful person and what he did at, you know, he missed one game in was it two years two and a half years or whatever what he did here, Rob, as a person on the pitch and off the pitch was, was just first class. And I think anybody connected to the football club, anybody who's been involved with Darren Fletcher will tell you exactly what, what a great, not a great player, what a great person and a great human being. So I'll be really, really disappointed if he got anything but applause. Everybody's experienced that. I've done that going back to clubs myself. So uh, it's not something that should faze them. Stoke will bring a challenge again on Sunday that we have to be aware of and we have to make sure we're on, on Blobworth. It's one of those games, uh, there's local r rivalry and it, it's, it's obviously we like to feel that we can go and get a positive result. We, we haven't had too much luck in recent seasons so we want to improve on that. It's, it, it's important that we do. Sat at the beginning of the season, obviously we feel our performance level is, is high. They've had a good start as well, so they'll be buoyed by that. So um, I think it'll be a very, very close game. Usually is. There's never too many goals in the game. Listen, I've got great respect for the football club. I've got great respect for that club and everybody that is involved in it, and especially the coach family. Uh, I saw t Tony prior to the season <coughs> in a Premier League meeting, managers meeting. So I met him there. There's no problem. We had a chat. No problem. No, I don't, I don't think there has been extra needle. I think the big thing that, that, that has happened is that we've lost the other clubs around us. They're all in the championship. So Stoke really is, with Leicester now, has become this year our, our local derby games. So, you know, they're, they're unfortunately with um, all the... Our sports will say fortunately. <laughs> Birmingham Wolves and, and, and Villa are playing in the championship. We're, you know, So we've got these two, Leicester and Stoke, are our, our, now our rivals. We view West Brom as a really... Difficult fixture. It's challenging fixture for for us. I wouldn't would imagine to be too open to be perfectly honest because clearly that's that's not the way Tony sets his team up. Uh, they they're very solid, very organised. Get plenty of people behind the ball early, but uh, they're good on the counter. So uh, you have to respect that. You have to respect their ability at set players as well. But we've we've got talent and we've got uh, threats that they'll be well aware of so um, like I said it's on the day it's who performs the best hopefully it'll be us there's four other positions that we would like to we'd like to bring players in hopefully fingers crossed we'll be able to do that and we'll come out of the back side of it with with great success these, these two weeks are always difficult they're always stressful for managers for football clubs for players supporters and everybody else probably since our last pre-season game against Leipzig where we went up against a very, very good team and were able to beat them. We went to Everton, good performance, didn't get the result the performance deserved and then followed that up clearly with the, with the Arsenal results. So in terms of form, we feel we're in a good place and I think the fact that maybe uh, a lot of people will have seen the game and looked at our performance, uh, I think now they understand that we're in decent shape, maybe not as in as much turmoil maybe as they were trying to suggest before the game. Good result in the Cup as well on, on Tuesday in a, diff a difficult place Accrington to go to. But I think the lads enjoyed it for other reasons as well, not just the football. It was <laughs> good to open their eyes to you know, what football is really about outside this uh, wonderful world called the Premiership. Um, so you do have a former West Brom players here and, and often with signings that you've been linked with this summer, West Brom are being linked with them uh, as well, Kurt Zuma, you, you got him and West Brom were linked with him and, and other players. Do you think you and Tony Pulis have a very similar mindset and the type of players you, you like to go for? Um, I'm not too sure about that.